Hello guys, my name is Benjamin. My name is Alexander. And we are proud to announce the launch of Gravity. For everyone that's been wondering where we've been for the past one year, um, we've been working, we've been working behind the scenes. And while working on the projects we're working on, we came up with this add-on called Grab It. And um, it's to help animators grab objects. Um, this video is just going to walk you through how to use the add-on, how to install it. So it's divided into three parts, so um, you can skip the chapters and stuff. But yeah, let's get into it. So I've got my Blender open and um, to install the add-on, it's um, pretty simple. Go to your preferences, click on install, locate the add-on folder and install, grab it. Just enable it and um, you're good to go. And this is it over here. So I'm just going to open up a, an example file. Okay, so this is an example of a character that is riding her bicycle and she grabs an ice cream cone along the way. Now this is just, I'm just going to quickly show you the old method. You can skip this if you want, if you just want to go straight to how to use the add-on. But for the old method, I'm going to clear all these markers and the grab it functions. For the old method, if you want her to grab the ice cream, you're going to duplicate this ice cream cone and then parent it to her hand bone. So I'm going to come over here, control P to the hand bone. And what will happen is, this one floating will be invisible until she grabs it and then this one in her hand will now be visible. So to do that, we're going to come over here, make this one invisible at this point. So I'm going to find the cone, which is here, and we'll disable the viewport display. And you also have to do this for the children, which is quite tedious. So you're going to come over to the child and hide that. And for this one, you make it visible at this point and the child objects for as many child objects as there will be. Then as soon as she grabs it, you're going to make this one invisible now and animate that. And then the other one, you're now going to make it visible and then it will appear as if um, she has grabbed the object. So this can be quite tedious using this method and stuff. So what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to delete this other one and we can delete the animations for this. So using the grab it add-on, um, you would simply Select the hand bone, come to the point where she's going to grab the object. Select the hand bone and press grab. Or if that's the last selected object on the, on the armature, click on grab and then select the ice cream cone and click on parent. And then go to the point in time where you want her to drop it and press drop. And there are some markers here that show you um, where you've grabbed and where you've dropped just to help organize where you can clear those markers from here if you want, if it gets too messy. So yeah, that is that process simplified. So I'm going to open up another example file and this file comes with um, grab it. That will just show you how to use it. It's really, really simple. You come over to the frame where he's going to grab it, select the hand bone in pose mode and then click on grab, then select the cup and click on parent. And then when you want him to drop the cup, you're going to click on drop and um, it's as simple as that so if you want him to grab this cup you come to where he'll grab it select the bone and since that's the last selected bone i'm just going to press grab and click on the cup and press parent then come to where you want where he's going to drop it and press so drop. if you have loads of grab operations like i said this place can get messy so just come over to clear and markers and that will clear that and also if you want to clear all the grab operations just click on clear all and that will cancel all the grab operations you've done. Just make sure that um, your grabber collection is always enabled. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna move on to the next part where we're going to do something a bit more complicated, which is this other example file that comes with it. If you follow the instructions, it will also walk you through how to use it, or you can follow this um, tutorial. So in this case, you grab this apple, Okay, so we have an object in space, the character grabs it and then places it in a basket or something connected to the character. It could be like the character picks up glasses and puts them on. So that way the hand grabs it and then the head grabs it later on. Or a character picks up a gun and holsters it. Or a character picks up a hat and puts it on their head. Anything like that, um, you can use this um, method. So what happens here, just like the last one, you select the hand bone in pose mode. So I'm just going to come into pose mode, select the hand bone and click on grab. Then select the apple and click on parent. 
and then you're going to go forward in time so at this point you're going to see the instruction this is where she drops it from the hand so now that the hand has dropped it the basket is going to pick it up so you're going to select the basket and press grab then select the apple and press parent again and then we're going to come over to the last frame and drop it we always have to drop before grabbing another object for now so um yeah yeah that's how it works you grab the apple drop it into the basket things like that if it was a hat that she's picking onto her head you use the hand to pick the hat then at this frame you drop it from the hand and then select the head bone to carry the hat and then you continue like that so um that is it that's simply how to use the grab it add-on um yeah i hope you go ahead and grab it i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching safe